با تمام اجازه بزرگان من اسپیچ رو به انگلیسی میگم دیس دیس از دی شبات اف پاراشا و یشف and as we know tomorrow night is the first night of Hanukkah and Parashai Vayeshev is always read in the month of Kislev before Hanukkah this parasha, Parashai Vayeshev is always read in all the synagogues all around the world before Hanukkah because it has a very amazing connection to the energy of Hanukkah, to the light that we receive during the Hanukkah. As Kevan Jun explained, on this Tuesday, at Kabbalah class, we're going to talk about Hanukkah. Kevan himself, on Thursday night class for Zohar, he's going to talk about Hanukkah. And I'm sure um, Mrs. Mrs. Ness, Eliza Ness, will talk about Hanukkah as well. I mentioned something last week. I mentioned something last week during the study of Parashah Vayishlach, which I didn't finish it, and I want to finish it this week because it has a very strong relationship to this week's energy and to the energy of Hanukkah. In last week's Parashah, it says that Yaakov was alone. Yaakov tan hashut. Yaakov was alone. And we know that God is alone. Khoda ham tan has. Yaakov was alone and God is alone. Yaakov tan hashut va khoda tan has. And I mentioned that last week, but we didn't build on it. And the, and the, the message is so powerful, I'd like to share it with you. The purpose of every human being, the purpose of every human being in this world is to become like God, to have an affinity with God, to come close to God, to have yichud with God. The Mequbalim explains the word levado, which means alone, has a significant meaning to it. Mequbalim tawzih midan ke lugat levado be ma'ani tanha ma'ani besiyar besiyar profound idare. When it says that God is alone, and we know that God is alone, that means that God is self-contained. God is self-contained. What does it mean? It means that he doesn't need anything. He's not affected by external energy. He's perfect in his own being. وقتی که میگه خدا تنهاست یعنی خدا به هیچ چیز به هیچ چیزی وابستگی نداره هیچ چیزی خدا رو تحت تاثیر قرار نمیذاره و خدا تحت تاثیر هیچ انرژی خارجی قرار نمیگیره هی سلف کانتیند هی از اول بای هیم سلف دیر از ناتینگ دت کن هاپن تو گاد اند وین ایت سیز یعقوب از الون یعقوب از الون دت مینز یعقوب received a level of spirituality that it was like God. وقتی که میگه یعقوب هم تنها بود مقبولیم توضیح میدن که یعقوب رسید به همون درجه ای که خدا هست. هیچ چیزی نمیتونست اثر روش بذاره. Self-contained بود. خودکفا بود. رسید به بالاترین درجه روحانیت We are Yaakov ما Yaakov هستیم تو را وقتی که میگه Yaakov is alone و رسید Yaakov به اون درجه روحانیت and Yaakov reached to the ultimate level of spirituality that means me and you we can receive that ultimate level of spirituality 
What is self-contained? What is self-contained? There is a prayer, very famous prayer called Adon Olam, and we teach it to the, all the children. It's a very beautiful and we recite it with happy singing. The meaning of Adon Olam, just like the Berech Shimei from the Zohar, explains that God is the king on his own yesterday, today, and tomorrow. What does it mean? It means that God is not affected by any external force. No matter what we do in this world, God is not going to be affected by it. Nothing is going to touch it. وقتی که میگیم خدا تنهاست و احتیاج به کسی و چیزی نداره و هیچ چیزی روش تأثیر نمیگذاره یعنی که هیچ نیروی خارجی هیچ تأثیری روی خدا نمیگذاره در پرکه عبوت اندرز پدران مهارال a Kabbalist from Prague from Czechoslovakia explains a very basic understanding of what is self-contained means. What does it mean that God is alone, Yaakov is alone? Maharal explains, who is a wise guy? Chekesi Ogele. Who is a wise guy? He says, somebody who learns everything from everybody. Kesi ke hame chizo az hame kas yad migire. We think someone is wise, someone who has studied all his life. He's a library in his head. He's a wise guy. Maharal says something else. He says, we call somebody wise when he learns from everybody and everything. Then he says, who's strong? Ki qaviye? Who has strength? Ki istiqamat dare? And he says, someone who controls his et sahara. Kesi ke control mikone evil inclination esho, et sahara esho, gurur esho. Then Maharal asks, who is wealthy? Ki puldare? Ki servatmande? And he explains, someone who is satisfied and happy of what he has. Mige kesi servatmande ke az un chizi ke dare raziye va lezzat mudare, khushhale. Then he asks, who is a respected person? Ki ehtiram dare? Maharal mige, someone who gives respect to everybody, he is a respected man. Kesi ke be baqiye ehtiram mide, he is a respected man. This is a very, very amazing study. When we read the parasha Vayesha, Vayeshev, when we are approaching Hanukkah, we are stepping into Galut. This week, Yosef goes to Egypt. We know that it's not about somebody 3,000 years ago traveling to the country of Egypt. No. We are Yosef. We are Yaakov. From this Shabbat, we are entering into this world that is called Misraim, which means the world of chaos, the world that we experience every day. From this Shabbat, Yosef is walking into Egypt. We are going to Egypt right when we celebrate the holidays of Hanukkah. حالا که داریم میریم توی دنیایی که پر از تاریکی هاست من چطور میتونم موفق باشم در این دنیا؟ خنوکا به من چی میده؟ مهارال توضیح میده When he says wisdom 
when he talks about wisdom, he's not referring to studying, learning, information. Someone can read all the books. Someone can read the Torah, the Mishnah, Talmud, Tehillim, Zohar. And if it's only information in his mind, he's a library, Maharal doesn't call him wise. He might be full of information, but it hasn't become his essence. Maharal میگه کسی که درس میخونه تورا بخونه، میشنا بخونه، تهیلیم بخونه اگر به عنوان یک اطلاعات فقط بارش باشه مهارال اسمشو عاقل نمیذاره میگه عقل باید در وجودمون باشه مهارال میگه کسی عاقله که از همه, کی، از همه کس همه چیز یاد بگیره از خوبان خوبی از بدان یاد گرفتن بد نبودن Maharal explains that wisdom is an essence it has to be within you and you learn from everybody if you see good then you have to practice good if you see bad you have to learn that you need to remove the bad you remove the darkness and you make, you, you make that part of your essence part of your being not limited to one thing. I cannot say I only study Talmud and this is it. Now I'm a Chacham Talmud. No. Only if you put it out. Only if that knowledge, that information becomes your essence. And you're not limited to anything. Your mind is not so close. It's not just my way. It's not just my way. When he says, who is wealthy? And I explain, he says, someone who's happy with what he has. Yani chi? Ki khushhale, ki servatmande, uni ke raziye ba un chizi ke dare. Maharal fakat sohbet az pool nemi kone. Maharal sohbet az in mi kone, ke har qasayi ke man darish hastam, har sarnevishti ke jilu am hast, vakti ke me dunam, راضی هم با این سر نوشتم هپی هم با قصه زندگیم من آدم ثروتمندی هستم if i know if i come to that essence that my story in this world my movie my family my friend my challenges everything that happens in this world and i'm happy with that and i'm content with that and i love it then I'm a wealthy person. Then I'm a wealthy person. And he says, who is strong? Maharal doesn't say someone is strong who can beat somebody else. You have more power to destroy something. You have the power of mouth, you could destroy people with your mouth, you're strong. Or you have so much money in your bank account, they consider you as a strong man. No, Maharal says, you're strong if you can control your evil inclination, your own evil inclination, your own ego. اگر بتونی مهار کنی نفس امارتو، اگر بتونی کنترل بکنی خودخواهی تو، اگر بتونی کنترل بکنی قرور تو، تو کانسیدر میشی از یک آدم سترانگ. نه اینکه دیگران رو کنترل کنم سترانگم اون ضعفه اون ضعفه اون کمبوده ولی اگر تونستم خودم رو کنترل بکنم اون وقت من آدم سترانگی هستم and then at the end he says who is respectful he مورد احترامه someone who gives respect to everybody and it's not expecting to get respect back. <coughs> respect is something that we have to earn by giving respect to other people. Giving people's value. Giving people's value for their opinion, for their behavior. Don't judge them.
when you own respect, when you own respect, then you have respect to give. If you're asking for respect, you don't have respect. You're a needy. You don't own respect. You only give something that you have. If you're seeking for respect, you don't have respect. You're empty of respect. But you give, when you give, you own. When you give respect to everybody, that's when you own respect. وقتی که احترام به دیگری میذاری احترام داری اگر من منتظرم که دیگران به من احترام بذارن من احترام ندارم من آنر ندارم افتخار ندارم and then at the end Maharal said something that is amazing and it's so simple it's so simple and it's so amazing when it says that Yaakov was lavado تنها بود he was all by himself تنها بود یعقوف خدا تنهاست مهارال داره به ما میگه تو این دنیا فقط دو نفر مهمن دو نفر مهمن تو و خدا In this world there is only two essence your essence and the light force of God there is only two your relationship has to do only with the life force of God. If you listen to the interpretation of the Berich Shimei, you see that Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai is stressing this fact, stressing this fact that now that you're going to this battlefield, battlefield which is full of chaos, full of challenges. And this week, if you think all these few months was difficult, if you think all this bad news was too much, wait. This week, Yosef is being sold into Egypt. Me and you, we're stepping into the world of challenges starting this week. By Yeshef, we're sitting in the world of Asiya, in the world of actions, in the world of challenges. But then, God is not sending us to this world of challenges empty. He's giving you 36 candles to light up. If you count the light candles, the first candle you turn on tomorrow night, continues for the eight days, you light up 36 candles. There were 36 hours of Or Haganuz, the concealed light, in heaven. From Friday morning, the sixth day of creation, that God created Adam and Eve, he injected Or Haganuz, Nur Mahfi. He injected it into Gan Eden until Saturday night for the 36 hours. This light, this Orhagonos light, gives you the direction, gives you the big picture, tells you there is concealed light and there is a revealed light. Chanukah is a gift. <coughs> when you light up these candles, you're lighting up the world of Asiya, the world of action. So just like yourself, you could be in prison, but you're not a prisoner. Shabbat shalom.